name is Michelle. The awesomeness you hear at the back side of my camera is my husband. We haven't done this style of haul in a while, like where he's sitting behind the camera and actually directing or whatever. Anyway, it's kind of cool. It's nice. A little nostalgic. Um, this is a Dollar Tree haul. Mainly food. A couple random things. Mainly hubbies. Snacky stuff. One or two cleaning items. There will be more cleaning items in other hauls to come. Uh, the first item I'm going to talk about is Hubby got some more of the Torch Fuel Citronella Scintle, Scintle <laughs> Scented Luau Time. I don't know why he uses it. I don't Torch care. Fuel. Huh? It's fuel. Yes, I know. I don't know. I don't like... Oh, God. Didn't like throwing that, just for the record. And since we're on random things... Okay. Story time. I know. Ooh, those are cute. Okay. Focus, Michelle. Focus, focus. I just want one of each. You can have the rest. Our <clears throat> bathtub looks like somebody smeared gray paint in it and then just left it there. I don't know what's going on with it. I wanted Barkeeper's Friend. Dollar Tree didn't have it, and I can't afford this month to buy it at Walmart. It's just too expensive. Um, they did have a ginormous thing of Comet. I went ahead and got it. I'm going to screw the tar out of that tub and hopefully I can get it back to where it needs to be. I personally requested that she didn't get Comet, that she got either Dasher or Prancer, that she refused and said Comet was the one to get. Well, you know, Vixen was busy. Prancer is just a dork. I don't <laughs> like Prancer. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so there's that. Hubby also picked up another pair of these gloves by Juncture. Guys, get these while they have them. These are the touch sensitive, you know, you can use them on your touch screens style. I just but like But they the go fast. And they are, they hold up pretty good too. You've, I've, I've got a couple. He, couple. he buys them because he likes them, not because he's worn them out already, just for the record. So there's yeah. those. He also picked up this pack of laser cut craft icons and they are owls. Owls? Did I say that right? Owl. Owls, owls. That sounded weird. Anyway. He bought a pack of these, so, and apparently he only needs one of each, so I get the others, which is not making me unhappy. Okay, uh, whoa, craziness. Also, I have a lot of hair. The drain, I can see that the drain is not draining as quickly as it used to. Not in the just tub. You. So we're going to attempt to use this. Honest to God, I don't know how this is going to go because I'm telling you right now, just seeing a hair in the tub makes me want to gag. So, pulling a big old nasty water <laughs> the drain might not go so well. I don't know yet. We'll see. Baby, you moved that. Jesus Christ. I need that basket that you just moved. Um, we also, so you saw in a cleaning, a uh, spice organization video. I showed you guys these. I like held them up to the camera and was like, what? So, thank you. Um, since finding them, we have been using them. Like, oh, we've already gone thing. through this one, That's the which beef. is the beef. We've already vegetable. gone, we've pretty much gone through the chicken one. That's the chicken one, and then the vegetables, the green one. Yes, and then we're almost through the vegetable one. So, we went ahead and grabbed more because we really do like them. Um, I'm kind of rethinking buying them a whole lot in the future, though, just because we do use them so much. It's really expensive. Like, it's $1.25 for this. And we did three of them. So we spent $3.75 on spices that aren't going to last us more than a month. To me, that's excessive. That's too much. I don't know. Maybe I'm just penny-pinchy person. So not the word I was going to use. Anyway, I do like them. They are, they have good flavor to them. So if you guys are ever thinking of getting them, go I for it. I want to make sure that I at least have a vegetable one and or a chicken one to take out, out in the woods with out me. This to the woods. Yeah. Um, as you guys know, we are going on a trip in a couple of weeks. <sighs> I have noticed that Dollar Tree doesn't always have this stuff, and they are now a dollar forty-seven at Walmart. So you're still saving if you buy at the Dollar Tree for dollar twenty-five instead. I went ahead and got a, a jar of the Stax sour cream and onion chips. I actually like Stax better than I do Pringles. Oh, and we bought this basket, which is actually going to end up being Be Beckett's toy bucket. 
But for the hot minute, it's going to be my separator container that we can stick on top of the fridge. Um, we also, they had, they had four bags. We only grabbed two because they hardly ever have these in anymore. It's the kettle cooked barbecue potato chips. We thoroughly enjoy these. Um, I think one's going on the trip and one will be for before the trip if we want. Is that okay with you? Whatever. Whatever. So we got two of those. And that's it for the trip food, right? And all the rest of this is your stuff. Hubby, we cannot run out of hot cocoa. It is a felony in this house to run out of hot cocoa. So Hubby picked up two boxes of these Swiss Miss with the marshmallows, of course. There's that. You know what? There's that. Jolinda thought that I did, because I don't like marshmallows, I didn't want marshmallows in my cocoa. And she actually pulled those out the last time she made cocoa for me. That is so sweet. It was. I thanked her, but told her I actually like uh, marshmallows in my Lulu. cocoa. Lulu, that was so sweet of you. Um, funny story, another story time. Well, kind of funny, but not funny. Hubby um, started feeling weird were his words. He actually had just a little bit of trouble walking. He was stumbling a little bit. And um, he's not diagnosed as diabetic. We did eat before we go in the store. I made sure we ate before we went shopping. But he, we got a root beer to share at, uh, where did we go? Popeyes. And we've kind of decided that the root beer just didn't sit well with him. For whatever reason and a lot of times I've noticed if I can get him to drink or eat something he'll start feeling better pretty quickly so we grabbed a Sprite and I had him drinking it while we were checking out but I didn't want the cashier to have to touch a can that we both had you know been drinking out of so I went ahead and grabbed another can of Sprite I cannot believe we spent $1.25 two times I'm freaking but you know it was worth it because my hubby is safe and that's all I cared about so now we have a can of Sprite to use at some point in time. We'll stick it in the fridge. I'm sure it'll get consumed at some point. Hubby stocked up a little bit on his candy. He got some good and plenties. He got some, ooh, you haven't bought these in a while. Juji fruits. Is that what those are called? Juji fruits? Mm -hmm. And of course, Mike and Ike's. He also got some of his spice drops. I should have got some of these myself. We really like the spice drops. He got two bags of Haribo gummy candies. He got the dinosaurs. Ooh, those look fun. And the happy, ch oh, the happy cherries are the good ones. They're really good. He, of course, picked up some orange slices. Orange slices. I know we got more, right, travel food, so I need to keep this over here. Maybe. I'm pretty sure I did. I know we did. And then we, he, we, he also grabbed... Twizzlers, yum. Yeah, see, that's why I got both of them because I like the I like the good Twizzlers. He likes the gross Twizzlers. All right, guys. So that is the end of this Dollar Tree haul. I wish I had a timer on that so I could see how long it was. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video, which is coming up pretty quick. Bye. Bye.